part two of the instructor pack. We're going to be looking at some safety, first aid related, and comfort related items that you're going to want to include in your pack for each of your guide instructional days. So we'll start off with the first aid kit. And I believe a lot of you or most of you or all of you have taken a woofer course by now. And we won't go into specifics of the first aid kit, but consider the clients that you're working with and their particular needs and adapt your first aid kit accordingly. One thing I've found in my guide world is that oftentimes the first aid kit that I see guides bringing in the field is way too small and inadequate for the range of things that uh, might occur. And for a single pitch environment, most of our days are short uh, days near the, well, not short days, but near the trailhead, short approach. And so bring an adequate first aid kit. That's not a place to cut corners. Some other considerations are of course a headlamp. Yeah, you're not planning to be out past dark, but maybe you will be. Make sure that thing is fully charged. I also like to bring a backup headlamp, which could be useful in the event that the charge went out on my first one, or if one of my climbers uh, left their headlamp at home. So that is a good idea as well. And you definitely want to head out in the day with a fully charged cell phone. So make sure that happens and get that thing charged up in the morning on your way to the climb or even before you get in the car. I like to bring a backup battery uh, in the event that I lose a charge in the course of the day. And another thing is some kind of backup communication. This is a Garmin InReach Mini. Uh, excellent device. But making sure that you've got your communication covered and you've figured out does your site have cell service. If not, you better have some sort of a backup mechanism. And lastly, of course, an appropriate trip planning form with uh, various emergency information that you would need for your particular area. <laughs> now we're moving on over to look at some client comfort items and these are going to vary according to the time of year and the place that you're in but these are some items to consider for the northeastern environment. I'll go over those in just a moment. <laughs> 